Hello, this is Ghostlike bringing you this series on how to set up stable diffusion on paper space. If you want to create great images and art, or even something like thumbnails, I uh, will teach you everything that you need to know on how to se set it up and how to easily use it. In the previous uh, video in this lecture series, I showed you as a script on how to start uh, free tier notebooks. In this video of the series, I will show you how to use the script. This is a video lecture for beginners only. If you know how to run Python script or if you have uh, Git and uh, Visual Studio Code installed, then you don't ne need to watch this lecture. I just want to show to the bare beginners how to run the script at all. First of all, in order to use this script, you need to download it. I'll do that uh, right now. Just click on the code here and download it as a zip. If you know how to use uh, git, uh, you can just type git clone and uh, paste uh, the URL and it will uh, clone the repo. But uh, for beginners, we'll start uh, like this. Just get the zip. This will download it, then we'll open the folder where the file is, Pre press Ctrl X, this will uh, cut the file, then we'll go to and maybe pa paste it here. Then, then what we need to do is uh, extract it. You can just uh, double click on the file, left click, and the, you will have the folder. Go into the file, press Ctrl C after selecting it, then Ctrl V. Then double click the file and you will have this uh, folder here. Now what you need to do in, in order to start the script is uh, point the Python interpreter at it. If you don't have a Python interpreter, installing it is really easy. Just open your web browser, type in Python 3 and you will have a download page here. Click on the download Python link, get uh, the latest version, just click on it here. If you download, then click on the link. After you click on the Python exe file that you downloaded, this window should show up, at least if you are on Windows. On other operating systems, it should be different. What's really important before you start installing is to click this, add Python exe to path. That will allow you to run the Python interpreter from the command line, which will be necessary to run the script. So click this, then install no. Now it has been installed. Close the installer, then we'll go to the directory where we have extracted the paper space gradient notebook starter script. Oh, here it is. Then find the folder and double click on it. Then we will uh, run the script. First click on file here, then open the command uh, line. In Windows this is the PowerShell as an administrator. Then uh, we will we'll try running the script. If you have installed the uh, Python 3 correctly, then after you have entered the command line, try if uh, the Python interpreter works. Yes, assuming you have added the Python exe to path, after the install has been completed, if it has been done correctly, then typing the Python command should start the interpreter. Let's, uh, let us try it. Yes, uh, this works. You can use it as a calculator. But uh, let us exit it for now. Exit. Now we'll try running the script. The script uh, has uh, run, but uh, because the script is missing the API key and the notebook ID, it has failed. What I will show you next is how to modify it, so you can uh, run it on your own account. But before I do that, uh, let me just uh, show you one thing first. If you are running this for the first time, then uh, you won't get this error, but a missing package error. To demonstrate this, I will first uh, remove the two packages that are going to be missing and then show you how to install them. To remove them, I'll, try, I'll write pip remove gradient, pip uninstall gradient, sorry, and pip uninstall plier. Now let me try running the script. As you can see, it says module not found, no module named gradient. That means you need to install a package called gradient. To do that, just type pip install gradient and pip install plier. Okay, we're good. What I will show you next is how to fill in the API key. To do that, we first need to open the script. Right click on the main pie and then on edit. Then maximize it by clicking on this. Now, what we need to do is put in, uh, put in the key here. Now what we need to do is put in the key here. But, but before we can do that, we first need to create it. I will show you how to do that. Go into your, go into your web browser, then log in into your Paperspace account. Sign in, then uh, click on your profile. 
then on uh, team settings then go into API keys now you need to create it click on add uh, you first need to put in a name put in anything then click on add then just uh, click on it here and it will copy it uh, to your clipboard then go back into the notepad where the script is open and press ctrl v now you have your api key right here i will also show you how to fill in the id while i am at it go into your paper space account the way to get the notebook id is not too hard this uh, number here actually isn't the notebook id but the project id to get the notebook ID, click on the project itself, and this thing is the notebook ID. Hover over this, and you will see a little uh, clipboard icon come in, and uh, it will say copy. Click on this, and you will see a little green check mark. That means it has uh, copied the ID to the clipboard. Once you have copied the, the ID to your clipboard, go into the editor, place the cursor in the middle of the empty string and press ctrl v to copy the id there now the id should be there now we are almost ready to start the script for the first time let me show you something right now all the free tiers are taken up and uh, if you don't uh, have a paper space subscription you might not even have anything other than the free gpu tier in that case you might need to modify the script uh, to instead try to allocate the free GPU tier, the one I am hovering over with the cursor. What we need to do to get that free GPU tier is replace these ones with this. Now we need to save the script with Ctrl S and then we can go into the terminal and try running the script. Let us try that now. Now it is trying to get the free GPU tier instance. I don't know how long this would take, uh, but uh, eventually it should, it should get it. And this is far easier than you sitting here trying to get it uh, by hand. Before we finish the lecture, let me show you one more uh, th thing. Instead of using Notepad, let me show you how to get a proper editor, so that you can modify the script more easily. What I want to do in this last section is show you how to install Visual Studio Code and Git for Windows. Visual Studio Code is a code editor, but you can also edit Markdown and I use it for my journal. For editing Python files it is much better than uh, Notepad. So let me just show you how to install it. It's really easy. Visual Studio Code. Just type this into Google. Then go into download. Then download it. The installer. Say keep. Now wait until it downloads. Click on it to start the installer once it finishes downloading. Accept the agreement. Then just go next next be sure to check check this to open with code you can also create a desktop icon i won't uh, launch it just yet i'll uncheck this and then finish it now let's go where the all the where the, the the paper space notebook started script main has been installed once you right click on it you will have this icon open with code click on this then the editor will start then you can uh, click on main pi and you will uh, see the file open with uh, syntax highlighting if you don't have syntax highlighting it will ask you here instead of this error to install an uh, extension for python install it and then you will have this this will make it much easier to edit these kinds of files now i will show you how to install git i'll close the visual studio code editor go into the web browser and type git windows uh, i think we need this one then we download it then we then we will install it click on it to start the, the installer next next already had it had a directory so I'll click yes mm, click next next uh, use visual studio code as git's default editor then next click next click next uh, next 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 wow there's so many of these next 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 now it's finally installing finish 
Now um, what we can do is go here. I'll erase, uh, I mean delete paper space notebook starter script main and the zip file we have downloaded. I'll press shift and delete to permanently delete them without sending them to the recycle bin. Then I'll start a terminal. Does the git uh, work? Yeah, it works. Now what I need to do is git clone and pass... Uh, I've uh, selected this and control C to copy the URL into the clipboard and then I'll uh, paste it here. This will clone the repo and uh, unpack it. Now if you look at the drive we will see that we have a new folder here. This is, uh, this is what has been cl cloned. Now we can uh, click in an empty area somewhere and then uh, open with code. Uh, ignore this for now. Now we, you see that we, we have uh, a fresh uh, repo here. And now it's e easy to just uh, paste and uh, edit. Using, using Visual, Visual Studio code is much more convenient than Notepad. I just wanted to show you this. So that in the future you aren't confused uh, as to what I'm using. In the future lectures I will show you how to actually set up the gradient notebook so you can use Stable Diffusion on it. That's all for this lecture. Hope to see you in the next one.